Hey guys! Today I have another haul video to share with you guys. Um, so I have made a purchase from this company before. Um, this, if you looked at the title, you probably already know, but Glambot. Um, I've ordered from them one time before and it was almost a year ago now. Um, and I'll put a link below because I did do a haul and kind of like a mini review on the website originally when I purchased from them. Well, I've been seeing a whole bunch of videos um, all around YouTube um, from people purchasing from Glambot and I was contacted by Glambot as well wanting me to do some sort of like an affiliate affiliate thing where they were going to give me a discount if I ordered from them and then I did a YouTube video about what I ordered and then they were going to give me a coupon code and all this. So anyway, um, I did receive that email from them but I chose not to do it. Um, I kind of have mixed feelings about this website right now so I didn't feel like it was the right time to endorse them or to affiliate with them in any way so um, just so you guys are aware I did use my own money to purchase this and um, even though they contacted me like I said I did not follow up with them and when I made this order they had no idea that who I am or that I do YouTube or anything like that um, so anyway when I've been seeing all these reviews Use, it kind of um, I decided that it was time to make another purchase from them Lo the last time that I purchased from Glambot they were relatively new like I said it was almost a year ago and they only had Mac uh, products on their site at that time um, but now they have expanded and they carry all different uh, brand names I can't even remember all of them but all of the high-end uh, makeup products are on there now so um, they had like Makeup Forever, NARS, MAC of course, um, Urban Decay and just on and on and on. So anyway just a quick recap um, about what Glambot is in case you're not familiar. Basically they um, buy and resell makeup. Uh, sometimes it's used makeup and sometimes it is brand new makeup but it's all previously owned makeup. For any makeup that was used, they do say that they will um, sanitize it professionally so that it is clean and safe to be used for the next person. So um, that is important to know that this makeup is pre-owned in case you have a problem with that. Um, I personally feel like as long as it is sanitized properly, um, it's okay. I, there are certain products I would not buy pre-owned. Uh, such as mascara or lip gloss or anything like that that is impossible to properly sanitize but um, lipsticks and eyeshadows, blushes, face products, things like that are extremely easy to sanitize which need the, the alcohol to do it. So anyway, um, let me show you guys what I got before I make this video way too long, just me talking here. So like I said, the last time I purchased from them, they only had MAC, so I only purchased MAC products the previous time. This time, I, I did order some more MAC, but I tried to kind of branch out a little bit. I've already looked through this because I wanted to make sure everything was in there, so it's all kind of out of the bubble wrap now, but they do wrap everything really, really well. So that is one thing I definitely have to give them kudos on, is that everything is bubble wrapped, and it was in two different bubble mailers, so they do a really good job making sure everything is secure so nothing gets broken or damaged um, during the shipping process. So that is really, really good. Also, um, last time I placed an order, they did this as well. They did send me a free gift. It's a nail polish from Emori, I believe is the name of it. And it's like this blue and silver swirly polish. And I'm pretty sure a thin brush like that for doing accent nails and stuff. So, um, I don't know. I'll probably give this to my daughter because she absolutely loves doing accent nails, but it's, it's not something that I really care about. To me, the free gift thing, I don't know. Usually, whenever they include a free gift that's like a surprise like that, it's usually something I really don't want anyway. So, I mean, I guess the thought is nice, right? Well, um, in my last video, I believe in my last video, in one of my recent videos, I showed you guys that I just got a Z palette and I'm working currently on filling that up. So, I wanted to get some um, single eyeshadows. I had them individually bubble wrapped and then they had these like little cardboard slip cover things um, that have the little GB for Glambot stickers. They put these little stickers like on everything. So um, I mean it's cute stuff but they kind of get annoying because you have to pull those off before you can open everything. 
I get the point though, it keeps things safe and sealed and all of that. They definitely do their work on sealing stuff. So then it comes in this little pouch and then you pull that out and it's inside of another little clear pouch and then you actually get to the actual pan of shadow and like I said, these are MAC ones. Um, okay, I had a couple problems with this. So first of all, this one here is this really pretty yellow. Let me go ahead and swatch it for you guys. It's just like a really, really pale yellow and it is a matte shadow. First of all, they say 90 to 100% full. Um, it's definitely, I don't know, maybe it is. I, I, I think this one is much more used than the ones that I've previously bought. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it on the camera because of the lightness of the color, but there is a pretty good scoop in the center of this where quite a bit of product has already been used up in this eyeshadow. So on the back of it, it is a, uh, one that comes in just the pan, but it has the name written on here, um, swinging, in, and it says it's a satin, but the sticker that they put on here is covering up whatever's underneath, and I can't see if there was an original MAC sticker on here or anything, I, I don't know. So it kind of makes me wonder about authenticity. I don't know, I really, I didn't like the way that this one came packaged. That one made me a little bit nervous. So I'm gonna set that one aside and show you some of the other ones though. Again, is another MAC shadow. And this one said 80 to 100% or 90 to 100% um, full as well. And this one definitely, yes, looks like it was barely touched, barely used. So um, you guys are gonna be able to tell the difference, but I just couldn't believe that they said these were the same usage when this one looks so much more used than this one. But anyhow, this one is the color Electra and it says it's a frost and it's just this beautiful kind of silver color. Kind of sheer though. I don't know if you guys, yeah, you can see it right there. So this one does come with the original MAC sticker on it, which I definitely like a lot. I didn't like the fact that the other one had just a glam box sticker on it because how do they know the color and how do they know it's authentic if the one that they bought from whoever they bought it from didn't have a sticker and if it did have a sticker why put their sticker over it so I don't know that's just my personal opinion I wasn't really very happy with that one okay and then the next one I got this is one of the limited edition MAC ones from the Barbie collection and this one is actually called springtime skipper and that's what it looks like. So um, you can still see the imprint of the little um, skipper right on there. And this looks like a really, really pretty color. Let me show you a swatch of that. It's just kind of a shimmery, kind of metallic almost green right there. Okay, so that's that one. And this one does come with the original MAC sticker again. And that's it right there. Next one that I got is called Going Bananas and it's just a very vibrant yellow, but I think it's really beautiful. And this one again did come with the original sticker on the back and it looks like it was hardly used if it was used at all. And I will go ahead and swatch that one for you. So that one I swatched on the bottom here and that's it right there. It's just a very pretty yellow. It actually comes up a little bit shimmery um, on the swatch. Okay, and then the last one that I got from MAC is um, this really beautiful shimmery white highlight color and the name of it is White Wheat and I will go ahead and swatch that one as well. It kind of comes up almost a yellowy color, but that's it right there. It's not coming up very well on the camera because I'm getting washed out in this lighting, but anyways, it, it does have a little bit of yellow in it. And again, this one did not come with the original MAC sticker. It just has this little sticker that says White Wheat. And I found a couple Inglot products. Now, I actually don't own any Inglot yet. I've always wanted to try it. It's just one of those um, brands that I just never got around to trying. Um, but I've been really interested in trying them and especially interested in their palette, their Freedom Palette. So they actually had a Freedom Palette which I was so excited about finding this on there and of course I had to get it. Let me pull it out of its packaging. 
Also, good to mention, it came with its original box. So whoever previously owned this must have never used it, or if they did, they were smart enough to save the original box along with the little instruction thing that came with it. So that is really, really nice. And then here's the palette itself. And I'm sure you guys have seen these before. They're just the metallic um, closures on these. So you can, um, there's so many different things you can do when you open these. You can just swing one side open, or you can pull the whole thing off, or you can slide it like that. Um, but yeah, you can do so many different things with this palette, which is why it's the Freedom Palette. But um, I was really, really excited to get this palette. Um, and then along with that, I decided to purchase one of the Inglot eyeshadows to put in the palette. But I'm not sure this is going to fit in this palette. This one also came with the original box, which is really nice. I do like that it has that because it helps you to know that it's authentic, of course, when it has all the original packaging. And then they do their little sticker here, which they always do. These little paper things that say Glambot on it to protect the shadow from the inside. So this one is called, I think, Stonewash Gray. Matt, I think it's called Stonewash Gray, um, but wow, that has a lot of pigment. Holy moly. Okay, that was a big swatch, but here's the swatch of that one. It's just a really nice matte gray color. That is going to be really fun to work with. It actually has a little tint of blue in there as well. Um, so that's what I got, and as you can see, the pan on this is way, way, way too big to fit in this palette. Palette is definitely meant for their smaller single shadows. So I'm, I'm definitely glad I got this though, but it, it's not going to fit in the palette the way that I wanted it to, so that's okay. And then the last product that I got is from Urban Decay. Came in an original box, and this is one of the 24-7 Glide On Eyeliners. And the color that I picked is called Mushroom. And to me, this looks like it's brand new. It doesn't look like it was used at all. I mean, maybe a little bit, but so there is that one right there. And as you can see, it still has a really sharp edge on it. So I'm pretty sure no one ever used this unless they just watched it one time. But it's just a very good kind of a, it's almost kind of a brownish gray color. And that's it right there. So this will be really, really great for like smoky under the eyes or something. So I'm really excited about this. I own a lot of uh, these 24-7 um, pencils as well. I just did not own this color, so I was excited to pick that up. So because I um, set up an account for the first time with them when I made this purchase, they gave me a coupon for 40% off, um, which all you have to do is create like a user login where you just give them your email and uh, create a password and they'll give you that 40% off coupon for your first order. So I went ahead and did that and so all overall for the five MAC eyeshadows that I got, the one ink lot, the Freedom Palette, and the Urban Decay liner, what I paid was after tax was $43. So that is a steal. That is an amazing, amazing price. When you figure that these MAC shadows, I don't even know now, what are these like $13, $14 in the store for the small ones? And then, you know, the Inglot shadow, the Inglot palette, the liner is like $22. So overall, I feel like it was a good deal. Um, but again, there's definitely some downfalls to this site. I have to say, if you don't have a big coupon code, like a 40% off coupon code, I don't know that the pricing is really that worth it for used makeup because personally, I feel like if you're buying something you, should, you used, you should get a significant discount from retail. The neighbor's dog is going crazy. I'm sorry, he just won't stop. Anyway, <laughs> so, Overall, my opinion of this website, I don't know, I kind of have mixed feelings. I feel like there are some really good deals on there, and definitely if you can get a coupon code, like the 40% off code, it's definitely worth it then, because I could not have got this much makeup for that price, like the brands that I'm getting. So I was really excited about this particular order, but um, I've been on their site many times over the last several months and just not found anything worth the amount that they're asking for. So. 
um, because I mean it is used makeup so I am not going to pay close to retail or almost retail price for things that are used I just I, I don't know it's just my opinion so anyway I hope you guys found this video useful definitely give me a thumbs up if you liked it and want to see more videos like this one leave me comments down below I really like to know what you guys think about this site if you think that is worth the money or if you think that it's one to pass on let me know what you guys think about it so thank you so much for watching my review today or my haul today and I will see you guys next time Bye.